Hi everyone, this is Nick from Nebula Academy. Today we're going to be walking through how to join your first Zoom meeting and a couple quick tips once you get into the meeting. So if you've been invited to a meeting, you should be looking at a URL that looks pretty similar to something like this. And you'll go ahead and click on that URL. It'll bring you over to the browser and then your browser should try and bring you into the meeting. But odds are if you don't have the application downloaded, you're never going to get your uh, see the dialog box and you're never going to be able to join the meeting. So what we're going to go ahead and do is click download and run Zoom. It's going to ask to download a file to your computer. We're going to click save and then we'll see the download come here. Uh, if it doesn't show up in your browser, you can go ahead and navigate to your downloads and click on that file. We click continue and it actually, that's the only step. Once we've done that, it's going to pop up a Zoom meeting, or it's going to pop up the Zoom application. It hasn't actually launched the meeting yet. So we're going to go back to the browser and we're going to go ahead and click here to launch the meeting. We then see the dialog box. We're going to click openzoom.us and now we're going to see that we've joined the meeting. It's asking if we want to join with our computer audio or not. Odds are you do want to join with your computer audio, so I'm going to click that. And now we can see in the bottom left, as I speak, the mute is going up and down. If I were to click this mute button, I'm now on mute. Sometimes teachers or your instructors may not want you on mute until uh, you have something to say, just because of background noise and stuff like that. The second thing is stop video. My video is actually on right now. It's showing black because I have something covering my uh, video. But if I click stop video, it now will just show my name. What's important to note is that the person who set up the meeting gets to choose whether your video and audio are on when you join the meeting. What that means is sometimes you join a meeting and you'll see you're not, you are muted and you don't have any video. Sometimes you'll join the meeting and you are unmuted. Uh, what this means is you just want to check what's going on in the bottom left if you'd like to speak or if you wouldn't like to speak during that meeting. The next thing to note is that we've got a chat button down here. When we click on that, we see the chat come up on the right side and we can say things in here like, Hi, I can hear everyone, but it seems like nobody can hear me. Any suggestions? That way, if you've joined and it sounds like nobody's hearing you, you can drop a little chat in here and see if the instructor can help you out or the person who set up the meeting. Um, this chat is from me to everyone, so anybody that is in this uh, meeting will be able to see this. Uh, what else do we have down here? So a lot of this stuff is just because I'm the one that created the meeting, but the chat is the big piece that you want to see. The next thing is if you are in a meeting and you're not the one that created it, you'll see leave meeting down here. You can click on that and that will leave the meeting. Here I'm going to end the meeting for all. It'll ask about your experience. It's just a thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm okay with what just happened, so I'm going to click on that. Um, that's about it for joining your first Zoom meeting. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment.